Hello and welcome to this tutorial of the Axon DeepSeg plugin for the Nepari software. Um, first off, uh, to load the Axon DeepSeg plugin, you just need to go to the uh, toolbar at the top of your screen and then click Plugins and ADS Plugin. And this is after you've installed um, Axon DeepSeg. The plugin will load on the right side here. And you have several options, such as selecting the segmentation model, applying the model, loading mass, filling axons, saving your segmentation, computing the morphometrics and the settings. Uh, to start off, you'll have to load an image. And we have some images prepackaged um, with Axon DeepSeg that you can test this with. So I'll just open this shortcut here. Go in Axon DeepSeg models and I'm going to open the SEM sample uh, image. Um, because this is the SEM model, uh, the SEM image, um, we'll test this out with the SEM model. And now I'll click uh, apply ADS model. Now because um, this image was prepackaged with uh, a pixel text file that contains the pixel size in micrometer, it won't prompt me um, to enter a pixel size. But if your image uh, doesn't have an accompanying uh, accompanying text file uh, with this information, then um, you'll be prompted to enter that information now. And this will take. Uh, a few seconds to uh, up to maybe a minute if you have a very large image. So now that segmentation is done, um, you'll see an overlay of the axon segmented areas in blue and in red the myelin segmented area. And these have been loaded as two different layers on the left panel slide as well. And so you can select uh, each of those and you can um, remove the visibility of a single uh, image if you'd like. And while you have these selected, you can also change the opacity if you'd like to fine tune. To zoom, uh, if you have a trackpad, you'll use two fingers and push out or push in. And to pan, you'll click and move around. And so if you wanted to go here, and just uh, see how well we segmented, we would uh, you know, change the opacity um, just to see the differences. If you'd like to do some uh, manual corrections to the segmentations, such as maybe removing uh, axon or myelin area, um, there's several tools here, such as the eraser tool and the paint tool, and so here, for example, I'll select the axon layer and the eraser tool. Um, you can also change the brush size, um, like here. And then you just need to click and move it around, and that'll um, erase it. Uh, we can do the same with the myelin, myelin area. Again, click the eraser tool, and we're moving that like that. Uh, if you'd like to paint, uh, this procedure is the same. You just activate the paintbrush here. Here we could adjust the, the brush size. Here, for example, paint in some of the myelin area. Um, we also have a tool called Fill Axons, which uh, if you click this, all the areas enclosed by myelin will be um, segmented as as axon. So if I would click this, um, this area would fill in as axon. Um, one note is that if there are any unfilled or um, unclosed uh, myelin areas, then it'll um, bleed out into the image. And so you need to make sure that all of your um, myelin areas are closed when you click this. Um, once you're done, um, you can click Save Segmentations and choose where you'd like to save. And that'll save uh, both the myelin only mask, the axon mask, and the axon myelin masks as well. You can also compute uh, the morphometrics for your image. So um, for each um, identified object, so axon, um, it will calculate things such as uh, the G ratio, the myelin thickness, and axon diameter.
uh, and each individual axon will be labeled with a number which here we'll see overlaid um, on the image. Finally, the settings, uh, there's some settings that you can adjust uh, such as defining how you want to assume the axon shape is uh, for your morphometrics. Uh, overlap value, this is uh, during the segmentation step and zoom factor um, in case uh, you can adjust this to try to get uh, slightly better um, automated segmentations. And also if you have a GPU, you can select that. And if you'd like to segment the entire image at once, you can click the no patch option. So that should be a, just a brief overview of the Axon DeepSeg and Apari plugin. And there's more information in our documentation page. So you should definitely visit that. Thank you very much.